Bengo Lancer. Too short to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. I have got right next to me what I think is Fuller's best beer. Um, I tr the first time I tried this was actually at the Fuller's Brewery and um, this was the standout beer. Everyone agreed this was the best. Um, it's an IPA a British IPA, not an American IPA, a British IPA. I'll explain the difference in a minute. Um, it's a 5.3% 500 millilitre bottle, and this is bottle conditioned, so there may be some sediment in the back. Who knows, in the back, in the bottom, who knows? Right, difference between British and American IPA. American IPA is how IPA would have tasted when it left the British breweries on its way to India. Very fresh, full of hops, high in alcohol. Reason being, hops are a preservative, so is alcohol. It would have kept the beer on the way over and it would have conditioned itself in the barrels on the way over. When it got to India, it would have tasted like this. Some of the hops would have mellowed, um, the alcohol would have calmed down a little bit and it would have you would have got this. Not massively, massively different from the American stuff, but just not as hoppy and not as high as alcohol. Only reason being, because that was a preservative. So let's get this open and see what's what. Right, you know my views on the Fuller's Brewery. Um, I like all the stuff they do. I don't like their labels, but they're doing their labels. Thankfully, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Um, this, is what their, this is what their caps used to look like. They were good. They had the Griffin on top, named after the Griffin Brewery and they all look like that. Um, the label is the same as well. That's a great label, I love that. Traditional label, very good. Um, I'm not gonna smell it now because this is just going too mental. I'll end up with a face full of froth. It'd be like saying I have a Lauren and Hardy film. I'm just gonna pour this in a glass, see what it's like there. As I say, this is bottle conditioned. Um, it should be stored upright, so it says. And it's really lively. I've kept this at room temperature. Look at that head, it's fucking hell. I'm just gonna let that calm down for a bit. Really with bottle conditioned beers, you're supposed to, um, you're supposed to open the bottle and leave them for about 10 minutes. Um, that's very, very lively indeed. Um, I'm, I've kept it at room temperature because I wanna get all the flavors. I think I'm gonna miss flavors with that if I put it in the fridge. Um, the head's like that at the moment, so I'm just going to try it like that and pour the rest in as we speak. Um, it's a very nice colour. It's like a medium amber type colour. Quite a bit of carbonation in there. Can you, I don't know if you can see that or not. But that's probably why it's so lively. Um, let's see what we're getting on the nose. Well, you can get them hops. Lots of lots of hops and floral notes on that as well. I'm not sure what hops they're using, but I know there's British malt in this as well. But there's, there's a floral, like a pine type, um, woody type. All right, so it's calmed down a little bit. I'm gonna see if I can get some more into the glass. It's a bit more respectable, that head. Um, yeah, it's like a, I can't, like a floral type note. It's almost, it reminds me of soap. Some floral soap. But I'm not gonna let that put me off. Let's just dive in and see what it's like.
Wow. That is amazing. I knew it was good because I tried it at the brewery. But this out of a bottle, and this is bottle conditioned as well. <clears throat> and I've kept it at room temperature so as I can capture all these all these flavours. I don't know if you can see that, it's slightly hazy there. But from an IPA point of view, the malt in this is very strong. That is really nice. There is some biscuity caramel type malts in there. And on top of that, you've got some grassy, not citrusy, but grassy type earthy flavored floral hops, typical English hops. Um, I don't know if they mention what hops are in here, but it's not it's not your your typical IPA. I mean that to me would taste like a traditional British IPA. Right, well it's saying it's got traditional traditional English malts and hops and the hops are goldings. I imagine these are Kent goldings. They're they're grown sort of down the road in um in Canterbury. I mean I'm I'm assuming they're Kent goldings. But um <clears throat> you can get that typical British type hop flavour and aroma from this. I mean look at the lacing on that. That is just amazing. That just sticks to the glass. As I say, it's bottle conditioned. It's slightly cloudy. If you got that from a from a hand pump, some people might think that it's uh, it's a bad pint, but it's not. This is so smooth. The mouthfeel is just. You know, I said there was carbonation in there, and the head obviously was very lively. It is so smooth and just full of flavour. I, I defy anyone to show me an English type IPA with more flavour than this. This is just amazing. You can really taste the malt and you can really taste the hops, and the balance between the two is perfect. It goes from a huge malt type onslaught like biscuity toffee caramel type onslaught of malt then you've got floral herbal earthy type hops slight bitterness not extreme bitterness like you get in the american and the west coast ipas this is more mellow as you would expect from a traditional british ipa where it would have mellowed in them oak casks going over to india this is what this is what they try to capture here, and they've done it absolutely superbly. This is amazing stuff. I knew it was good at the brewery when I tasted it, but Christ, this is amazing. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. It really is. Um, what would I give this out of 10? Well, I'm going to have to say this is a 10. I could not give that lower. Everything about this is just perfect. Why this isn't more popular than London Pride, I don't know. I mean, London Pride is full of flagship ale, but this, this just oozes flavour. Beautiful malt, balanced malt, caramel, toffee, and a bit of biscuit on there. And then them hops, earthy, Hops, they're just it's just a brilliant balance, it really is. 10 out of 10, get it. 
I've seen these in supermarkets and you can buy it online, it's quite widely available if you can you know, make the effort to hunt it down. I think you'll only find these in Fuller's, pu Fuller's pubs on draft. If you, can get, if you can get this on draft, get it on draft, it will be sublime on draft, it really will. I think it's stronger on draft actually. Um, but yeah, this is just a great pint, it really is. 10 out of 10, recommended, that's one of my all time favourites. 10 out of 10, recommended. And remember, life is too short to be drinking shitty beer.